Hello, I'm Kev. The rest of them are here as well. Well, most of them. Lucy. You're never going to meet Lucy, I don't think. She's still not here. Um, we're at Alton Towers. We're going to coming to check out CBeebies Land. This is the delayed birthday thing for Andy. The problem is it's raining, which is why A, you're on the little camera, so the sound might be a little bit rubbish. I do have the big camera with me if we can switch to it late when it stops raining. Um, but it also means that the birthday boy isn't best impressed because he's not that much of a fan of rain. But we're making our way over to the monorail into the park now. It's another of our making the most of our Merlin passes days. So I think this puts me and Anna in profit on our Merlin passes at this point. Amy's nearly there. Big thumbs up for that. We've made it to CBB's land. The rain has stopped as well. He's very excited. This is going to be quite cool. Massive test of how well this medication works. I think at this point we're about halfway through the queue. He's still just singing along with all the night garden background music. Having a whale of a time. I mean, it's safe to say he's enjoyed himself. He's filmed every single part of this so far. He's answered every question the man over the thing has asked out. He is having the time of his life. He did say he wants to go home after this, which is a bit of a problem. Who's here? But for now, thumbs up to the night garden ride. Can you see? It's safe to say the night garden ride was a roaring success despite the hour long wait. The challenge now is convincing him that we're not just going home. There's a whole other theme park that we need to do because that was the only thing he really wanted to do. That's why we were here. Let's see how we get on. It's now one o'clock, we're still in the queue for Postman Pat. All he's doing is saying over and over again that he wants to go home. He's done the one thing he came here to do. We've told him we're gonna go home at six o'clock. He's not happy about it. I'm really hungry and I need a wee. Nearly at the front of the queue, five-year-old Kev would be absolutely over the moon about what's about to happen. 35-year-old Kev is wondering whether he's gonna fit on the ride. Make sure you stay like Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman. Why are you playing the wrong music? Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> let me go, let me go. This, this is awesome. I'm actually Postman Pat, although you could argue I'm one of Postman Pat's parcels. And these two are Postman Pat. Pat, Jess, parcels. I'm fine with that. Whoever or whatever you are, Num Tums, well played for your queue only being five minutes long. You wanted to do this, son. This is you. I thought it was just
Sensory Garden, brilliant addition, well played Alton Towers. This is calming him down, he'd been getting a little bit worked up about just, this isn't what he was expecting, he was so fixated on it being a day where he gets to go to the night garden, that doing that first, he was just ready to be done. But this is, I mean he's still agitated, but it's calming him down a bit, which is good. Right, I think we've done everything there is to do in the CBeebies land park. We're going to try and venture into the main park. I don't know how successful that will be, whether we'll get on any rides. It's worth a try though. It's the, what, the, the ride formerly known as Sonic Spinball. Andy really wants to go on it because he watches it on YouTube all the time. I'm afraid the sign says I can't go on it because I have high blood pressure. Very, very upset about that. Amy doesn't want to go on it because she needs the toilet. Anna, Anna feels sick because she's still a little bit ill from yesterday, but Andy's just walked down there to get on, so she she gets the short straw and is going on that ride now while we go and try and find a toilet. She might look a little bit green the next time you see her. How is the uh, spin ball? No. No? Why? You love I'm roller too, coasters. I'm too old. Huh? I'm too old. What do you mean you're too old? Because I, I, I was sick yesterday, I don't feel it, it like 100% now. And that thing is left and right. We went up backwards. <laughs> um, but he, he screamed all the way around and loved it. Excellent. Yeah, he's still whinging because he wants to leave. But mine? It was like 10 minutes. Still not happy, despite the fact that he's loving everything he goes on. She doesn't like the waiting. Amy. We did. Amy. I did talk to Horton Towers yesterday to ask if he would qualify for their disabled access pass. He doesn't. Apparently, he's not disabled enough. So the only way we could do it is if we can get a letter from our consultant Hello. explaining that he's not capable of queuing. We know what letters from our consultant are like. So he's just gonna have to put up with the queues. Just want to make it really clear how much of a big deal this is that we're actually getting him to walk around the park because six months ago, a year ago, never would have happened in a million years. We took him to a zoo about 18 months ago. That's the last time we tried to take him anywhere like this. He just cried and kicked and screamed the whole time. Um, we had to get a wheelchair from the zoo staff and basically strap him into the wheelchair and he was putting his feet into the wheels, kicking, screaming, was not having any of it. So the fact that we're just getting him to walk around, yeah, he's not, He's not having fun as such, because it's not what he expected, but because of how his mind works, he's just sort of scoping this place out. He's never been here before. We'll get home tomorrow and he'll be asking to come back straight away, and then the next time we come, he'll expect to do the exact same route, do the exact same things, because he has enjoyed it. But this is massive, this is a big deal. This is awesome. Things are about to get a little bit wet. Let's find out how waterproof this new phone is then. This could be about to be a very expensive mistake. Well, assuming that it isn't broken and that I managed to get this footage off, 
then the phone is officially waterproof. Oh, how I hope the iPhone footage that I took on there was usable because Anna and Andy got completely drenched on the rapids. I stayed completely dry. My wettest area is my bum cheeks where I sat on the boat when we got on there. Yeah, Anna's bum's completely dry because she picked the dry seat. But I got absolutely soaked on the way around. It was excellent. I like it. I think that was our last ride now, so we're going to head over to, we're going to try and do cable cars, monorail, and then be done. It is four o'clock. Andy's on a full on second wind, going strong. Happy. This has been a really, really good day. We've discussed before how I feel about cable cars and this one just stopped. It is moving again now, but when it stops and bounces up and down, that's unpleasant. Well, I think we're going to call it there on today's vlog. A splendid time has had by all. It's nearly five o'clock. We managed to stay in there all day and avoid any major incidents. That's all positive stuff. Hope you've enjoyed that video. Something a little bit different from what we would normally do. If you did, make sure you pop a thumbs up on there for us. If you are new to the channel today, if you're just looking for more some Alton Towers or CBB stuff, make sure you subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.